Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we are going to evaluate this integral. Yes, here we have integration of e raised to ax into sine of bx, where this a and b these are the constants. Now here we have to evaluate integration of product of two functions. That means here we have to apply integration by parts. So yes, first we will write down integration by parts here. Yes, here we have write down rule of integration by parts. When we have two functions, this is of variable x. Yes, so here we have write down this rule here. So yes, here we have first function into integration of second minus integration of derivative of first function into integration of second function. Right? So yes, here we have to apply this rule of integration by parts here. So first we have to arrange these two functions by using this Liet rule. So this sign this is a first function and exponential this is here second function. So yes here we have this integral. This is sin bx this is as a first function and e raised to ax this is as a second function right so this is first and this is second function okay now here we have to yes we can check that here we have to find the integration of second that means we need here this integration of e raised to x and this is we know that this is here e raised to x by a right and we want derivative of first function so this d by dx of sine yes so what is here this is sine derivative, this is cos of bx into b, right? b is a constant. So yes, now let's proceed for integration by parts here. So yes, we will write down this first function sine bx into integration of this e raised to ax. This is e raised to ax by a minus integration of d by dx of this one derivative of sine this is here cos of bx into b into integration of e raised to ax this is e raised to ax by a right so yes now we will simplify this is here here we have this constant b by a so we can take this is outside so yes remaining here we have cos of bx into e raised to ax right so this is yes now again yes here we have this integration so yes here we have to evaluate this integration here so Yes, we have write down this term as this one. So yes, here again we have to apply integration by parts. So first function, this is here cos of bx. This is first and second. Integration of e raised to ax, right? Minus integration of derivative of first function. So cos of bx its derivative right so cos derivative this is minus sign yes so here we will write down derivative of cos this is minus sine of bx into b into integration of second yes now we will simplify this bracket here Yes, again we can simplify this bracket here. We can take this minus b by a inside this bracket. So here we will have this 
so on simplification we got this here now we can check that here we have integration of sin and e raised to ax now we can check that again we have this integration that means to evaluate this integral we have to apply integration by parts rule right and on evaluating this we will get again this integration of cos and e raised to x and again to evaluate this integral we have to apply integration by parts and this process is never ending process right yes so yes now to evaluate this given integral yes we can check that this is the given i yes given integral which we have to evaluate here so yes we will write down this integral as a i so that yes now this integral this is the given integral i which we have to evaluate right so yes we will shift this term on this side so yes here we have yes now we have shifted this term of i here so on simplification we will get yes and again we can check that here we have e raised to ax common to this term so here we have this is sin of bx upon a and this is b upon a square cos of bx yes now here we have this constant term so we can shift this constant term on this side so here we will get this i is equals to e raised to ax this is a square upon a square plus b square this term as it is next year we can take this a square inside this bracket so here we will have this i is equals to e raised to ax upon a square plus b square this a into sin bx minus this a square a square get cancelled so here remaining we have b into this cos of bx so yes in this way we have evaluated this integral i is equals to this e raised to ax into sin bx right and what is the value of this integral we have got here this is e raised to ax upon a square plus b square this a into sin of bx minus b into cos of bx yes and we can write this integration constant c here so in this way we got value of this integral right and here a and b these are the constants so yes we have seen how to evaluate this integral here so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching